So that is why we have different, we have a division of labor here in the process, right? <laughs> in Windows or in Unix, if I say PS minus E, I will see all the work process, all the processes of the same type. But here we have division of labor, okay? Now, uh, I'm a basis admin, but I'm new to basis. So I want all the T codes to be shown here also. Because I don't want to type T codes. So what can I do? I have something here. Extras, settings, and then say display technical names. Now if I go to tools, if I go to administration, I give the T codes. So can you tell me the T code to send messages to people? Uh, SM02, Very good. SMO. Can I, yeah, SM02. Can I, uh, can you give me a T code to do archiving? Archiving the data. S-A-R-A. Sara, Sara. Or Sari, right? There are two T codes. Then, uh, If I want to define RFC connections, what T code should I use? SM59. SM oh, why is it? Yeah. It's not very sharp. SM59. Okay, I would correct it. Yeah. So, so these are T codes, right? If uh, which are used to do things fast rather than going through the menu. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yes, sure. Um, is the as a sub basis administrator most likely that he'll do is on the administration folder is that right yeah most of this work is here uh, but uh, it is more than what is here it is more than what is here right yeah okay but uh, it can be also that uh, he has to to access the other folders outside administrator, administration folder? Uh, yeah, monitor mode, monitor performance, monitor. You have to do monitoring also, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, what I mean is uh, the main folder is the uh, administration folder. Correct. See, customizing is there. System monitoring, administration no, uh, and monitoring. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Administration. But also customizing and... above the okay. administration folder. So yeah. but most likely that admi an administrator will work on the administration folder, right? Yeah, there are two folders, performance, right? And also a database, you'll be working on database also. And all of these could be assigned, right? Pardon? All of these could be assigned. Yeah, correct. Okay. Traces. System but that's log. all under the administration folder. Yeah, 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 all under them. Yeah. Okay. And all the transports, all under that, right? Yeah. Okay. So if I summarize the activities of a basis guy, right? Through these folders, I can summarize, right? Yeah. Uh, so can you tell me what are the jobs of a basis administrator? Sorry. Monitoring. License management. Oh, what, what are the jobs of a basis admin? So he, had, he has to manage license, right? Then uh, he has to check after the installation whether the installation is done properly, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then he has to create RFC connections between systems. RFC connections means I have one SAP server here, I have another SAP server here. I want them to talk. How can I, I, I they can talk using TCP IP, using network address. But I want them to talk through SAP system also to transport things and all, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe I want to extract data from that server to this server, right? So I had, oh, I had to do client copy, remote client copy, right? For that, all those things, I had to create RFC connections. RFC, remote function call function connections. Call. Connections. We'll talk about all these things later. Then client maintenance. I had to create new clients sometimes. When I install SAP system, it creates some default clients. But I may create a new client and use it for production purposes, right? 
you can manage with this right because otherwise i have to correct yeah. it you can manage right yeah i like to do client copy that means i have a client i logged in into what client 001 if i want to check i can check here click on this so i logged in into client 001 so i can copy 001 this is a golden client 000 and 001 you don't normally use it uh, use it means uh, for any other things right right that's for some purposes we'll talk about that later so i want to make a copy of that so i create a new client and then copy everything from here to that client i can do that if i want right so local copy so in the same server i created a new client and i copy another client to the new client that is local client copy then i can do remote client copy from this server to another server i have i have a client here 001 I created a client in that server 8000 so I'm copying from here to that okay then I have a lot of other things we don't want to talk about that I can do client export client import talk about that later I can check the logs when the client copy happens I can check the logs whether it is done properly right archiving I can archive old data which is not used very often used but not used very often so I can archive whenever I want I get it so you have some items in the kitchen which you are not using so you put it in the kitchen itself somewhere in the storage at the top when you want you have you can access very fast but you don't put it in the in the storeroom downstairs or somewhere else right uh, that is something like backup right this is not backup right yeah. This we don't do very often. Yeah. Then we go to monitor. Monitor auto monitoring we have to do. We already learned about SM50. What does SM50 do? It shows all the processes. What are the different type of processes we saw? Dialog, NQ. Dialog, NQ, background, background brown, spool, update, and update. Update, right? Which one is used by the uh, use for use activities? Direct activities, update. dialogue, update no dialogue, Direct. activities, I mean the user logs in, yeah. so dialogue helps, right, dialogue helps, yeah. user ask, asking for information, okay, dialogue, oh, come, come, I'll help you, okay, but dialogue will hand over that to somebody else, yeah. but dialogue is the coordinator, right, main okay. coordinator, yeah, he, he will respond to the user directly, he, he, uh, dialogue will talk to the user, not talk, I mean, respond to user request, right, yeah. Then SM50 will talk that will show the servers in the in the network. Okay, if I want, I can type SM51. I click on this, create a new session. Now I have opened one session. Now I can open up to six sessions. I can extend up to nine, but by default six. So when I click, I will open another session. Or I can also go and go to system, create a session. Which one do you want, here or here? both same so I click on this so it creates a new session so if I type SM51 so I have one system running even though it has two systems two means uh, two instances only one instance is running as of now right so that instance is this and it's active so every day in the morning you have to do this as a basis admin right when you go to when you go to your office, you have to make sure all the lights are working. When you go to your system, you have to make sure all your servers are working. Otherwise, somebody will come and say, tell me, oh, the service is not working. At that time, it will be too late for you to think. If you already know the service is not working, you can plan what to tell people, right? And you can tell, okay, so users will ask another question. When will it be ready, right? So you can't answer that. So if you know that, oh, it's not active, then I check what is the problem. Then I can tell them, okay, after two hours, after one hour, or maybe five minutes, right? So that I reduce. I, I